If you've watched the LTV video, the location, trajectory, and velocity video, you'll have an understanding that when I teach quarterbacks how to throw routes, I give them a body part to look at based on where the route is, across the field, outside, toward the boundary, or up the field. And one of the reasons I do that is to be able to get them to throw the ball accurately because when you watch the person running the route, your eyes and your brain will automatically discern how fast that person is going and you won't have to guess in terms of leading them so that the ball gets to them and they can hit them in stride. The reason I know that is because God wired your brain so that if you're driving down the road and your car in front of you starts to slow down but doesn't put his brakes on, you, you sense that and you either put your blinker on to pass or you hit your brake and you slow down. Well, how did you know to do that? You didn't sit in the driver's seat and specifically do the calculations in your brain consciously. Your, your eyes and your brain took that data in and knew that your car was going faster than the car in front of you. So you had to make a decision. It's no different than how do you hit a baseball when a baseball is coming in at a speed where you don't ha consciously have the time to calculate when to swing or even hit hitting a tennis ball when it's hit back to you. So God wired your brain so that you can discern and your brain can, can pick up how fast objects are going and you can react in time to either catch them, hit them, or throw them so that you don't have to guess in football where to lead a receiver. If you watch, if your quarterback watches that body spot and when his feet are timed up, for example, if you ask him to throw a three-step no hitch or a three-step hitch or one step or any type of rhythm footwork, when he hits his back foot, he can let that ball go and throw it at that body part. The nice thing is when you look at that on film, it actually looks like he's not throwing it at that body part you'll see the ball being thrown in front of him. But when you keep the film going, you'll see that guy run the intersect, intersection and that ball will be right at that location that the quarterback threw it. For example, if he's running a slant or a dig he'll, and he throws it at his chest when his feet tell him to do that, you can see the ball being thrown in front of the receiver, but then the receiver coming and, and catching the ball at the exact right time, at the exact right location, chest height. And I've taught this for a number of years with numerous different quarterbacks, and it works every time. So you don't have to tell a quarterback to consciously make a decision to lead a receiver. You can take the LTV that I've talked about in the video, which is across, look at his chest, up the field, look at his upfield shoulder, outside route, look at his outside shoulder, and if you time up his drop, his foot rhythm, whether it's one, three, three and a hitch, whatever you want him to do on any of those particular routes that you have him run, and let him throw it at that spot, his accuracy will go up because God wired his brain and your brain to be able to discern different speeds, and he'll throw it with the right speed, and that ball will get there every time. I think this is really significant when you understand that quarterbacks throw to receivers and they don't all run the same speed so how do you get them to be able to throw like in high school to a guy who runs a 5-2 and then throw to another receiver who runs a 4-5 well if you use the LTV body locations he can throw to any receiver at any time as long as he understands time your footwork up with the rhythm 
look at the body location spot, and if it's clear, post snap, throw the right trajectory and velocity for that guy when your feet tell you to, to. and you'll make them more accurate, and they'll all, you'll have a lot less interceptions.